If you want your life to heal in a maximum way, even in material life, first establish this. Just do this one thing. What is the source of all human misery on the planet? Life is not happening the way I think it should happen. This is the only source of misery in human life. Tell me, is it easier to change your thinking or the world? Changing your thinking is very easy. Have you taken this faculty of thinking into your church? No, you're in a state of mental diarrhea. If everything that happens in your thoughts come true in your life, you're finished. Fortunately, they're not coming true. My blessing is, may your dreams not come true <laughs> Because the way you are dreaming, if all of it happens, you're finished. Your expectation is coming from a very limited picture of life. If you want your life to heal in a maximum way, even in material life, I'm not talking about some spiritual dimension, just in your material life, if you want to yield maximum, no expectations. No expectation does not mean you don't have an orientation. It is just that every moment you don't go about calculating, oh, I didn't get what I want, I didn't get what I want, what I want did not happen. No, it's just that if you want to move in this direction, how far you will go will depend on how much gas you have. And if you have expectation, you are wasting all your gas in simply revving up the engine all the time and you won't go far. This whole expectation overtaking you has happened to you because right from your childhood people are asking at the age of three, tell me what will you become? <laughs> will you become doctor? Will you become IT engineer? <laughs> Some rubbish <laughs> The expectations that parents have of their children is largely so unrealistic and stupid most of the time, it is neither good for them nor for the children and many, right from your early age, you cultivate the same trend. Let's do this much with life. See, all this problem is because happiness is a tomorrow thing, never a today thing. Because only if this, this and this happens, I will be happy. Now, as you get more miserable, as this, this and this gets little more away from you every day, instead of coming closer if it's going away, as you get more miserable, the power of the expectation becomes stronger and stronger. Right now, let's say you're really blissed out, but you want this to happen. We chased it, tomorrow instead of being closer, it's further away. It won't create any great amount of suffering, it will not. It will not create any suffering because you're joyful. So without fixing this, you're trying to do things in the world. Long time ago, it seems Krishna said, yoga staha kuru karmani, that means first establish in yoga, then act. But now you started your action, in a mess, so you come to yoga. So we try to adjust this. <laughs> you do this much, forget about what you want in the world, from yourself, from the people, from the world. What you want, drop it. First establish this, that what happens within you is determined by you, nobody else but you. Just do this one thing, naturally you will choose to become pleasant. When you're very pleasant, still ten thousand things have not happened in my life, so what? With a joyful zest, I'll go after it. <laughs> and the chances of fulfilling those expectations are far better. If they don't happen, who the hell cares anyway, because my experience of being here is wonderful whichever way. Without fixing the fundamental, we're trying to run away. We have not fixed this, but we are trying to take this somewhere. This is trouble. If you want to drive your car, you must see, first it's properly fixed. Two wheels are loose, it's on the jack. Now you try to drive, you know it's going to be a disaster. This is a time to establish yourself. This is not a time to drive. If you drive before you fix the wheels, it's going to be painful and disastrous. Don't do that to yourself.